Welcome back to the James Dewar Show and your seven steps for financial success. As I stated earlier in the show, we have our special guest, Brian Felt with Forefront Property Management, your San Antonio choice for property management. Welcome, Brian. Hello, James. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's great to have you here. And to the, this segment, we want to kind of educate the, uh, the listeners about um, if you own property, and you want to have income, uh, what's the best way to, to, to have a property management company work with you on that? Is there, I mean, is there, you know, uh, uh, is it something that you can just kind of hand off completely to a company like yours? You can. So there's two options. Some people like us to do lease only. They mm -hmm. want to do property management themselves. Perfectly fine. There's a lot of people capable of doing it. One spouse doesn't work. We're both retired. Uh, at that point, you hire us to find the right residence for you. Oh, well. Wow. Or you can do full turnkey where yeah. we handle everything soup to nuts. Okay. So I, I didn't know you could do just like a, you could do one part of it. And really the leasing part is really the hardest part because all the laws and regulations out there, it's so so difficult to uh, make sure you're not going to get yourself in trouble. And uh, and all the leasing requirements and, and ch doing the background checks, I guess you do all that. Yes, sir. So, um, uh, you know, it's uh, that's that's cool to know. So if you have property out there in the San Antonio area, and how far again do you go? We'll do San Antonio and all the surrounding areas, any county that touches Bear County. There you go. So so if you have property anywhere uh, adjacent to Bear County, uh, you can call Brian at Forefront Property Management. And what's your phone number, Brian? 210-418-1880. Okay. And as always, you can go to the James Dewar website, J-A-M-E-S-D-U-E-R-R.com. And Brian's uh, logo is right there, Forefront Property Management. You can go right to his, his uh, website and send him a message. But it's really critical if you if you have property or if you want to get property, uh, y'all can do the whole the whole package, right? You can you can have the real estate agent uh, with your your partner, right? Yes, sir. That's correct. We can help you source the property, make sure it's good, find the residence, take care of it, and when you're ready to sell or move up on a 1031 or just get out of it. We can help with that too. There you go, and then that's why I uh, enjoy having you as a a uh, sponsor because you're talking about 1031s, and you you have a lot of knowledge that's critical for a successful uh, real estate that has part of your portfolio. Step five of the James Dewar Seven Steps is real estate, and it's a critical part. But you got to be smart about it because it's it's not an easy thing. I, I know over the years it's uh, it's hard to make those right decisions. But how did you get into this business? My father was a realtor, started in 1994, started property management in 2000. He got sick in 2016, so I was a policeman here in San Antonio at the time. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and left, came over and took over the family business. It's always been my dream to be like my dad or at least try to follow in his footsteps. So. Well, everybody wants to be like your dad. Uh, we were talking earlier, Brian, my dad passed away uh, this past Sunday. And uh, and I always want to be like my dad also. I want, you know, That's why my... Uh, education is in, is it was is in engineering, and before I got into financial services, so uh, it's very special to kind of follow in your father's footsteps, and I, I know he's very proud of you, and the, the success you have, uh, uh, and and the success you bring to everybody around you. Well, I appreciate it, man. Sorry for your loss. Um, I've always felt that the way we honor our parents is to live a good life, right? Carry on their legacy because right. I have his name. Just right. Like you have his name. Exactly. So, as long as we keep doing what we're supposed to do, we're going to be all right. There you go. So, so uh, that's another reason why we have these sponsors. Uh, Forefront Property Management is a very, uh, uh, you know, uh, ethical company that you can trust. And I don't. Uh, it's, it's, you define yourself by who you have around you, and you can trust Brian Felt at Forefront Property Management to take care of you. And to make sure your family's taken care of, and your and your children and your grandchildren, as we pass everything down, uh, that uh, that we have somebody like yourself that can help them make smart decisions in real estate. Yes, real estate is such a great part of the portfolio. Yeah. So we, and and we talked before. You still, I mean, we have like five to thirty percent of your portfolio should be in real estate by the time you retire. Is that fair? I think that's a good number. Yeah. And you know, there's a lot of things you can do with real estate. Uh, obviously, it's income. So when you retire, you, you hopefully you'll still have Social Security. Uh, you'll have maybe, uh, you have step two, you have an income annuity. 
And then step five, you have uh, real estate, you have passive income coming in with real estate uh, and your, your rent coming in. Uh, but also you can even, you know, you have properties later on in life. You can, you can decide whether you want to sell one or two of those properties and turn that into immediate income with an annuity. So you have a lot of options and you can, uh, with real estate that you may not have in other types of, uh, uh financial, uh, products. So I would agree. I think a lot of people like to diversify, uh, they'll do cash flow maybe mm -hmm. early on. Or also they'll do a mix of cash flow and then equity. No, oh, okay. Right? So holding a property that's just going to gain value over time, okay. so that when, as you said, they reach retirement, they can just let one go every year, and and build up their portfolio without getting taxed yeah. as well. And that's exactly what a good friend of mine did. He had four properties, and he sent his daughter to a very expensive school, and each year he sold a property, that's and that's what. He, and so, but he held those properties for years and years before that. So he built equity. So that's exactly what we're talking about. So. What type of uh, historically with San Antonio, you know, how how much has real estate risen uh, recently? The depreciation level every year, pretty much about three percent. Three percent. Even even when we have the the slowdowns around the country, San Antonio always seems to have a little bit of a buffer, mm -hmm. being a military city, and San Antonio's leadership and government has done a great job of not letting prices soar outrageously. Okay. Well, well, tell us about, uh, if, if you own property out there, please, please call Brian Felton. Your phone number again, Brian? 210-418-1880. Okay, great. And again, you can go to the James Dewar website, J-A-M-E-S-D-U-E-R-R.com website, and you'll get Brian's logo right there and go right to him. Send him an email, give him a call. So, so uh, say I'm a, uh, you know, I want to get into real estate, and I, but I don't have the time because my, my business takes up all my time, my work and family and all that. What can you offer uh, if I buy a property and then have you manage it? Uh, what, what all the services that you offer from the very beginning? There's a large list. We break it out by leasing services and then property management services. A lot of people don't know what is entailed. It's always a common question. We just redesigned our website, and what we did on our pricing page is break down every single facet of what's included. Oh wow! So that if someone says, "What am I paying for?" the answer is right there. Okay. Any management company should be full disclosure. You shouldn't have to hunt for what you're getting for the price. Yeah. So we just decided to be fully transparent. So they can go right to your website. Your website again is Forefront P M F O R E F R O N T P M dot com. Okay. Under services, you'll see pricing. And under there is a breakdown of everything that we offer. Oh well, wow. so it's just it's easy. You can just go to that website. You can find everything you need to know. Kind of kind of educate yourself before you call Brian. So the idea is the consumer. You have to know your audience. The consumer likes to research before they talk. Okay, nobody wants to feel like they're at a disadvantage when they're mm -hmm. calling. Okay. In addition to that, we have an option for you to enter your in, your address on our website, and it'll actually send you an estimate of oh. what your property can rent for plus every comp that's used. So <laughs> if we give first, then we educate our audience, then our conversations at that point are centered around specific questions. Okay, so you do everything and, and, and they can they can uh, kind of go through the process a little bit and, and save time. I mean, nobody likes to waste their, their, their Saturdays, just, you know. Yeah, they can save time and they can also be educated themselves. We're continuing to add to our website, always adding educational videos. Okay. Um, we're getting ready to start interviewing vendors next so that we can have certain series such as why do I need to drain my water heater? What's the advantage of having my AC checked twice a year? If, if we give and serve first, we feel that we have a better return and people feel more comfortable. Okay. So what time can somebody call you? So I, I mean, I'm listening to this on a podcast on the jamesdoer.com website and, and uh, it's 11 o'clock at night. And I want to say, oh, I want to contact them for first thing in the morning or set up a meeting. What, what times can they call you? So the office is open from 9 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. We have a leasing line that answers our calls 24-7. So we are always open for phone calls so that when we have people searching for service or people looking to rent a home, they always get a live person. Okay, so they can call that leasing number. And they'll take a message and they'll, take and, they'll, and they'll let us know. Or you can submit a form on our website Okay, and we'll get back to you. Well, what about the interest rates right now? Is, is now a good time to, to buy property? Interest rates are really low right now. So for the consumer, you know, 3.875. Wow. If you're doing investing, you might be in the mid-fours, but still a great time. 
So what's, what's the highest you've seen during your time in real estate and uh, during your lifetime? What's been the, the kind of the highest rate? 5.5 on um, investment properties, just depending on what size. We also do multifamily, so that's a different animal, but for re residential homes, 5.5 is the highest. Okay, okay. But, but historically, what have you seen? I mean, how high has it been in the past? So for my lifetime, 5.56. Right. Uh, my father, when he was yeah. there, um, 17, 18% back when okay. owning a home is, you know, a stretch. Okay, well, <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking about. I, I know, uh, I mean, interest rates have been, I mean, during my lifetime, all the way up 24% back in the oil, uh, right before the oil bust. So, uh, yeah, now it's just, it's incredible. It's incredible what you can, you can, the way you can, you can build equity through real estate at such a low cost of uh, financing now. I mean, it's just, if you're going to do anything, now's the time to do it. Now's the time to call Brian Felt, Forefront Property Management, and uh, he'll walk you through all the steps. Uh, you know, uh, like, is it necessary? Do you think it's, I mean, I, I know you have, uh, we can refer people to qualified lawyers that can, can help them set up things like LLCs. Uh, what do you think about LLCs for, for, for property? Typically, most institutions won't lend to an LLC that uh -huh. has just started. So what we usually advise our owners, purchase a property, mm -hmm. create an LLC, and then you can transfer the asset into there. It is a, it's a great idea to do, but a lot of people jump the gun, right. and then the banks, your LLC has no you know, history. Okay. You can't lend to the LLC, and then it yeah. becomes a problem. Well, that's exactly correct, because that's in my history, that's the way, exactly the way it's been. That you, you, you purchase it individually, then you do a title transfer to the LLC. Uh, but then after you've been in it for a while, you can just buy the property straight out with the LLC. So, But that's a mistake somebody could make if they, if they go and, and they set up an LLC and they try to buy, buy their first property with it. It could be a mistake and could not get qualified. So um, that's why you want to reach out to Brian Felt of Forefront Property Management. Uh, go to the jamesdoer.com website, click on, a, click on his logo and go right to uh, his page. Send him a message because you don't want to make mistakes. I mean, you, a lot of times you don't get do-overs in real estate, right? It's hard. That's, that's a very expensive lesson to learn. On our front page is a circle that says investment properties. Mm -hmm. You click on there. We have a partnership with another company that allows you to see all the investment properties in the area. Okay. And all the numbers, rate of return, cash on cash how much equity you'll build over 30 years, 20 years, 10 years. Do your homework before you make a purchase. There you go. And that's, and that's one of the things you'll get from uh, Brian Felt Forefront Property Management. And your phone number again, Brian? 210-418-1880. Great, great. And again, you can go to the jamesdewer.com, J-A-M-E-S-D-U-E-R-R.com, and find all, all uh, the information for our sponsors. Well, it's been a great show, Brian. I appreciate you having me here today. Thank you letting me be on. And Brian is a regular guest, so he'll be here at least once a month. And if you need anything, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to reach out to Brian. Uh, God bless you, and God bless your family, and, and a memory of your father and, and my father. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Thank you. I know we went kind of over. I didn't know whether. No, it's fine. Because this part, <coughs> how long did you re your show? An hour. Nah, that's fine. I think that 13, 14 minutes. That went really fast. good. It's <laughs> just a conversation. No, man. <laughs> okay. Flies when you're having fun. You got time to do another one? Yeah. But what are we going to talk about now? So, things to talk about right now. We talked about the LLCs. That's a really good. Um, my, my daughter just she got tired of her house and we have Durham. So my wife bought another condo instead of a house. So we're going to sell a house and get a condo. And the, and the law firm up there says, yeah, you, we don't have to, you know, we can do exactly what you're saying. Yeah. We don't have to buy it. Because we always had like $100 to pay for a title transfer to the lawyer every time. And yeah, just buy to switch it over. So, much yeah, so it's right on the money. So topics of discussion could be um, where to buy, when's the best time to buy, the types of strategies, um, I, I, tying back into what you do with this wealth management, mm -hmm. the type of strategy and type of house you're looking for, the type of strategy, and this is more on the buy side, correct? Mm -hmm. It's dependent upon where you're at in your portfolio. Right. Should you be looking for cash flow or should you be looking for equity? Someone that is older should not be trying to buy an equity build play unless they're setting up their children. Right. 
Yeah. It's pretty much why are you buying? What, why what are you buying? What, what are the benefits of having a property manager? Because of all the laws out there. Um, a lot of times educated people, on, they don't know about the pets, the door locks, the smoke detector, all the property code items. Yeah. So you have any stories that you can tell? Uh, without having names about uh, people who come to you and said, I'm tired of renters having, you know, having great dames or <laughs> that tear up our, my rental house. Thank you very much, sir. We, we, we can just talk stories in general about how people... I mean, like, it's property, much, property, we have some horror stories. I have four stories of properties that have been trashed, but that also that ties into um, the landlord protection insurance we have on our website. Okay. Right, things like that. So we offer land, landlord protection insurance that we have through Lloyds of London uh, is only available if your right. house is professionally managed. Right. That, we, we talk about it. So that trash and the things we need to just repeat things. <coughs> it doesn't. I mean, you're the biggest thing. You just right. keep on repeating yeah. your your main things because it's. It, you will have new audiences, and also people need to keep on hearing. The it. biggest thing is going to be the keeping up with the laws. The number one place where people get in trouble okay. when they self manage. Okay. Because self managing is what we, we try. If you look at our pricing structure, it costs you a full months of management just for us to find you a tenant. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that's what you can pay for for a year and have us do everything. We, we have it designed. To push people because people are getting sued because they screen people incorrectly they discriminate against pets they don't keep the houses up to code there's there's a lot of pitfalls that can happen everyone wants to be an investor and try to save that so a lot of times it's showing the value of what they pay us for so it's screen the applicants and what was the one right after that screening applicants uh -huh. uh, pets discrimination That discrimination and, and just keeping the properties up to code. Okay. So some of the things that we offer, like we we mandate that our our renters have uh, liability insurance. That's just a mandate of our company to protect the owner. Stuff like that. Those are some of the items that we 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 go into to make sure that we're taking care of the asset. The number one reason you have a property manager is to protect your asset Indeed. above all. So we're kind of talking about some negatives. What about positives? What positives can we bring out? Well, these are all positives of why you have management mm -hmm. because of these negatives. Oh, okay. If you think about it. Okay. So I flipped away with thinking about that. It, it, you, 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 you're bringing up the, we want to get a property, and everybody wants to get a property, but then what? Mm -hmm. and, and that's when you need a property manager to guide you through all of this. So your whole series is about seven steps to living a better life. How can you live a better life if you're dealing with all this crap? Mm -hmm. That's the answer. So okay. having a manager allows you to keep working your regular job, put money into your 401, or putting money in these other places, and then this asset is taking care of itself with someone else watching over it. Okay. Because time is our most valuable commodity. And so how are you going to use it? Because okay. you always talk about you know making time for relaxing. I think part of your show always talks mm -hmm. about that. Right? Make time for your family. Well, how can you do that? If you're screening tenant calls, toilets are flowing. Okay. So we, we tie in directly to the message that you're sending, which okay. is to enjoy life. I think that was step seven, right? Right. Okay. So you'll never enjoy life fielding calls at two in the morning for a sewer stoppage. <laughs> you'll be, especially if you don't answer the phone, you really want to enjoy life. There you go. That means going to be problems. There you go. <coughs> oh, uh, you, uh, you feel like doing a, a promo? What is a promo? Uh, that like a 30 second, 15 second, whatever you want to do is just says, uh, I'm Brian, Brian Fell with prop, uh, for, for Property Management. Uh, you know, we're proud to sponsor James Durr show. Yeah, listen to, uh, yeah, you know, we, we play that promo during, during I the we show. we recorded that the first time. We did, but uh, uh, kind of specific to today. Oh, to today, okay. Today. Okay. So, I don't know. I think, I thought you just recorded a promo once and just ran it again. Um, yeah, probably have it, but. I, just want to make sure we get it included. No, no, no. What do you think, Ernesto? Just should we look for what he has already? Can you see what he has already, or do you want to do a little, do another one right now? Just make sure he gets included <coughs> tomorrow or Saturday. Saturday. 
Uh, I just need to, yeah, we can do it, right? You know, we, we just need to edit the, the promo to get ready the promo for Saturday. Mm -hmm. so where's the other one at? It was already edited. I don't know. I don't, they, they run, they run them at different times. Oh, well, let, let's do, let's do a promo, yeah. 30 seconds promo. And okay. I will keep it there. I will try to edit the promo today or tomorrow. Okay. And I will get <coughs> ready the promo for for Saturday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of a revolving. Kind of. It's kind of. Yeah. It's kind of a moving target here. So I want to make sure it kind of we kind of plug and it. And you don't need to be show. exact thirty seconds because he's part of the show. You know, he's not like a buddy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm Brian. You just like you did before. Brian Fell, Forefront Property Management, proud sponsor of James Dewar Show and Seven Steps for Financial Success. You know, step seven, step five is is a critical part of real estate, and I can help you make money you know through efficient and yeah, at that time right there right yeah so yeah, but don't, you don't, don't worry if do it around 30. around 30. that's pretty you cool go 34 don't worry yeah yeah because you and you can do 15 seconds if you wanted to but you know is that too short all right call me just kidding <laughs> <laughs> call me now okay let's do 30 seconds like, i'm yeah. jeff davis no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah four 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 <laughs> Okay, then this is the promo first. <coughs> okay, Brian, give me some value, please. Test, test, test. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. In three, two. Hello, this is Brian Felt with Forefront Property Management. We are proud sponsors of the James Dewar Show. We res we sp ah I messed up. That's okay. Don't worry. In three, two. Hi, this is Brian Feld with Forefront Property Management, proud sponsors of the James Dewar Show. Forefront Property Management specializes in residential and light commercial and multifamily property management in and around the San Antonio area. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at 210-418-1880 or on the web at ForefrontPM.com, F-O-R-E-F-R-O-N-T-P-M.com. Thank you. I like it. Good. You Perfect. want to do one, one more, just in case? More relaxed, more whatever you want. I'm trying to know if you want. And uh, is there music in the background? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be putting music. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So I can do like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah. Just... <clears throat> Relax and do it. You mind if I record or is that make you nervous? Recording me? Yeah. Always even camera. even you you know what you can uh, tell the phone number twice. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Both bases. In three, two.